I'm going to show you how to cut or draft a button of shirts. Now this method, if you follow this method through, you're going to get a very good result at the end of the day. So um, please, but before we continue, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Luyasi Fashion. Follow me on all my social media platforms, they are displayed on the screen. Let's go down to the cutting table. Okay, so we are now down to our cutting table. Um, I'm going to show you how to cut a button-up shirt. Um, but before we continue with this tutorial, let me give you a rundown of the measurement. We're working with a shoulder of 19 inches. We're working with a sleeve length of 24 inches because it's a uh, long sleeve button-up shirt. We're working with an armhole of 18 inches. We're working with a chest of 42 inches. We're working with a neck of 16 inches. We're working with a shirt length of 29.5 inches. And we're working with a sleeve round of 14 inches. So let's continue. So the first thing you need to do now is you, you need to fold your fabric into two. I've already folded the fabric into two. The first thing you need to cut is the front part of the button-up shirt. Now, I'm going to cut the front part. So the, the, the fabric is already folded into two. So I'm going to cut both the left and the right side of the front part. So the first thing you need to do now is to place your shirt length. We're working with a shirt length of 29.5 inches so i'm going to i can just add like half inch to it so making it 30 inches so i mark my 30 inches this is the shirt length so the next thing i'm going to do is to work with our chest we're working with a chest of 42 inches so we're going to do 42 divided by 4. 42 divided by 2 is 21. 21 divided by 2 that's 10.5 so our chest because this is we are cutting two pieces of the front so the two pieces of the front are going to is going to come together to form the front part so that's why we are dividing the chest into four because we are cutting two pieces of the front so now we're working with 10.5 inches but i'm not going to just place 10.5 inches because there will be no allowance so we'll add an overlap allowance because when you look at a button up shirt or a button down shirt you notice that at the, around the button area the front part of the shirt overlaps so one actually goes and rest upon the other so we're going to add one inch for the overlap allowance then we're going to add 1.5 inches for folding the plackets because when you look at the button up shirts there's the placket and you need to fold it inside and so on both the right and the left side so in that case we'll add 1.5 inches for the placket folding then we'll add one inch for the side seam allowance so we're adding let me go through it again we're adding um one inch for the overlap allowance overlap that's where the button the button side will overlap on the other side we're adding 1.5 inches for the placket folding they were adding one inch for the side seam allowance so we're working with um 10.5 inches if we add one inch for the overlap that will give us 11.5 inches we add 1.5 inch inches for the placket folding that will give us 13 inches then we'll add one inch for the side seam allowance that will give us 14 inches so we'll have, we'll, we'll, i'm going to place a total of 14 inches here 14 inches i can just make it 14.5 inch so that will give us like one and a half inch allowance for this uh, side seam so 14.5 inches 14.5 inches so i'm going to draw a straight line to connect um this is the this is the down parts i'm going to draw a straight line connect it to this other side with a straight line and i'm going to cut okay so we've cut out the front piece we've added all the allowances like i mentioned now what i'm going to do is i'm going to fold that's one and a half inch that I gave for the placket folding. So I'm going to to fold that one and a half inch that I gave for the placket folding. Let me confirm if it's up to one and a half inch. So this is one and a half inch. This is this is one and a half inch. So I'm going to fold it. The allowance I gave for the placket folding. Then I'm going to press it. I'm going to press it. This to ensure that when I'm doing any other cutting, I'll know I've already folded this area. So it's very important you fold this. Okay, so as you can see, this is the front piece. I've already folded the fabric into two to cut the back piece. So this side is very important. This side is the folded place, the folded part. Why this side is the opening for the back. Then I'm going to carry my front piece 
this is the front piece i'm going to place it on top of the on top of the back piece then on this upper side i'm going to leave out three inches you know the back of the shirt is longer than the front because of the back the back is not straight the back is the human back is hunched so there needs to be an allowance for at the back place longer than that of the front to enable that extra room for the hunch of the back so i usually leave three inches some people will leave three and a half some people will leave four inches so but me my style i leave three inches so the, the back is longer by than the front by three inches so let me confirm if this is up to three inches this is three inches then you know i told you aside from the other allowances we added on the front i told you there's a, a one inch overlap allowance this is the bottom area so it's going to one part of the front of the shirt is going to rest upon the other parts to form the space for the button so that's the overlap so it's one inch so i'm going to make sure as i'm putting the front of the uh, shirt on top of the back i'm leaving one inch for the overlap allowance some people will leave three quarter inch you can leave three quarter inch you can leave one inch i've placed it as you can see there's my one inch allowance is here if you come to this upper side too my one inch allowance is here and my three inch allow uh, extra space for the um back is also here so i'm going to close so from here I'm going to cut this out. Okay, the next part we're going to cut now is our neck. Now, the formula I use to calculate the neck is the neck round divided by 4. So our neck round is 16 inches. So 16 inches divided by 4 is 4 inches. So you know I left 3 inches extra allowance at the back here. And this back is going to fall to the front and overlap by half inch. So instead of the three inches, we're going to have one and a half inch at this area. So when I'm placing my neck measurement, I'm going to leave out that half, one and a half inch at this part. So now I'm working with four. 16 divided by four is four. So I'm going to place, I'm going to use my tape to leave out one and a half inch here because this back part is going to take one and a half inch from the neck measurement. So I'm leaving one and a half inch for, of the tape outside. So I'm going to place my four like this. So I'm going to mark four inches here now the two inches i'm going to place is not going to start from this overlap position it's going to start from the folding of this back so i'm going to place my two inches here from this position then mark two inches here place it like this then i'm going to curve it now when you're doing this curve it's not going to come like this it's not like when you're curving a senator the neck of a senator top or a kaftan this one is going to be somehow like this now it's not like how you you cover a senator the neck of a senator top or a kaftan this one is going to be somehow like this and not like this it's going to be like this so that's how it should be so now i'm going to take my shoulder the shoulder we're working with is um we're going to slant because the human shoulder is not straight so it's going to be slanted so i'm going to slant my shoulder i'm going to get the shoulder position then i'm going to slant the shoulder is 19 inches 19 divided by 2 is 9.5 so this is the position this is the shoulder position then i'm going to take it down by two and a half inches this is the normal way i slant the shoulder of the top so i'm going to cut it out Then I'm going to take out, it's already slanted, so I'm going to place my tape like this and take up that 3 inches to also form a slant for the back part. I'm going to take my ruler and mark it. And I'm going to cut. Then I'm going to take this part and I'm going to overlap the front by half inch, just like I said. Then I'm going to cut this side. This is the area of the neck. I'm going to take it up. Then I'm going to open this up. And cut here like this. Meeting it with what I cut from that area. So we're getting our shape of our neck my shoulder now you're not placing the shoulder like this you place it on a straight like this 
the shoulder is 19 inches so 19 divided by 2 is 9.5 but i'm not going to place 9.5 because there's need there needs to be half inch allowance to join the shoulder to the sleeve so i'm going to place 10 inches from here so i mark then our armhole we're working with an armhole of 18 so that 18 divided by 2 that will give us 9 inches so i'm going to place 9 inches on the shoulder position and mark i'm going to draw a straight line like this then I'm going to go in by half inch at this middle point. And I'm going to connect it like this. Then from here, I'm going to curve it like this. Now, this curve I did, this half inch curve I did is for the back. The front, I'm going to go in more than that half inch curve that I did on the back. So for the this is this will only take place in the front part. I'm going to go in by about half an inch extra for the front. The back needs more room, but the front needs to be curved to take out excess material from the chest position. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to curve just the front. to merge it to this side so as you can see this allowance extra allowance is for the back so this is how it should be so now this is very important I'm going to place my tape on this position to know the length of the entire length of the armhole so that I'll know how to cut the sleeve so we have 11.5 inches okay so um, you know, for the armhole we checked, we measured the length of the armhole at 11.5, the allowance. So, I folded this into 10.5. So, when we curve it, when we curve the sleeve, it's going to give us that 11.5. So, I left out that one inch. So, what we're going to do now is, the length of the sleeve is 24 inches. And the length of the cuff is 2.5 inches. So, I'm going to take out, when I'm taking the measurement for the sleeve, I'm going to take out two and a half inches for the cuff. So that two and a half inches, I'm going to take it out for the cuff. So I've placed two and a half inches outside of the sleeve length. So I'm going to take it out of the cuff. So now uh, we we'll have 24 inches. So I'm going to add half inch allowance here. As you can see. So this is the position. So when I add the cuff, it's going to give us our 24 inches. Okay, so now what I'm going to take out now is the cap height. Now the cap height is usually the armhole divided by 4. We're working with the armhole of 18 inches. So 18 divided by 4, that will give us 4.5 inches. So I'm going to place 4.5 inches here. And I'm going to take from this position, I'm going to draw a straight line from this position to this side. Then I'm going to draw this straight line here. Then I'm going to come out by half inch here at this middle position. Then I'm going to curve from here now, take it to this side and take it out like this and curve it. Then I'm going to cut. This is our, our sleeve cap. This is the shape of our sleeve cap and I'm going to curve it like this. Curve it like this. I'm going to take our sleeve round. Our sleeve round is 14 inches. 14 divided by 2, that will give us 7 inches. I'm going to add 1 inch, so that will give us 8 inches. Then here, I'm going to place my sleeve round for the cuff to be around here. I'm going to connect. I'm going to cut. Cut. So now, the last part we're going to cut is the yoke. So I'm going to place the back of the clothes on top of the pieces. Then from this position, I'm going to pull this side like this and cut the neck out. From this position, I'm going to pull this side. And I'll pull it to this side like this. Now, the middle of the armhole, then I'm going to open it up and I'm going to cut here out like this. So, we have our pieces ready. Now, I hope you learned a lot from that video. I believe now you will know how to cut a button-up shirt. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Luyasi Fashion. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up on my comment section. Follow me on all my social media platforms. They are displayed on the screen. Uh, I'm on TikTok. I'm on WhatsApp. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. 
and please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel see you on my next video